This is your time. This is your season. And this is your moment. This is Dr. Tommy Campbell Jr. Welcome to another special edition of This Is Your Time, This Is Your Season, and This Is Your Moment. I'm your certified executive coach, your mindset coach, your life coach, your motivator, your inspirator. I want you to know you are destined for greatness. Greatness is in your DNA. And this brings me to the title of this motivational video. The title of this motivational video is you can do it. Listen to me very closely. I want you to know that you can do anything that you put your mind to. If you put your mind to it, you can do it. If you put your mind to it, you can be it. If you put your mind to it, you can become it. Anything is possible. I want you to know you are special. Don't look back because you are not going that way anymore. Stop looking back. You're not going backwards. You are going forward. Focus on the present. Focus on right now so you can have a great future because the decisions that you make right now, it is going to determine how great your future will be. Eleanor Roosevelt said, you must do the thing you think you cannot do. Whatever it is you think you cannot do, it may be difficult, it may be hard, I want you to do it. I want you to do the difficult. I want you to be it. I want you to become it. Why? Because I love you and I believe in you. Your thoughts will change your life. Choose them wisely. I'm going to say that again. Your thoughts will change your life. Choose your thoughts wisely. This is what I want you to do. I want you to choose positive thoughts. I want you to think positive thoughts. Stop thinking negative. Stop choosing negative thoughts. And choose positive thoughts. Because if you work on choosing positive thoughts, then you will have a great life. Because someone said, never be ashamed of a scar it means you were stronger than what tried to hurt you don't be ashamed of your scars don't be ashamed of your past don't be ashamed of what you went through don't be ashamed by your past hurts don't be ashamed by your past pain because you were stronger than what tried to hurt you. You are stronger than your past pain. You are stronger than your scars. Take positive things out of your bad situations. That's what I want to tell you. Take positive things out of your bad situations. What do you mean, Dr. Campbell? This is what I mean. Every bad thing that happened to you, I want you to bring something positive out of it. It's all about perspective. It's all about a mindset. Because keep getting up, keep grinding, keep fighting for what you want. I'm going to say that again. Keep getting up, keep grinding, keep fighting for what you want. Why? Because you can do it. This is your time. This is your season. And this is your moment. I know the pain is real. Maybe I'm talking to someone right now. You're going through a difficult time in your life. You're dealing with a lot, you're dealing with a lot of pain. You're depressed right now. You're going through a divorce. You've been through a divorce. You're in a domestic violence situation. You're, you grew up in a negative environment. You grew up in a dysfunctional family. You grew up not knowing your father. You grew up in a single mother home. You're, you, you're dealing with some things. You maybe going through something traumatic right now. Maybe you're grieving because you lost a love or maybe you're sick or maybe you know someone who is sick. I don't know what you are going through, but I do know this. 
you are going to make it through what you are going through. Let me share my story so you'll know that you're going to make it through what you're going through. I flunked the first grade. I overcome being labeled as retarded. I had a reading and comprehension problem. I had a learning disability. When I got in high school, my high school teacher, she told everybody else how great they were going to be. But when she got to me, she said, Tommy, you're not smart enough to go to college. She said, you're not going to graduate high school. Well, I tried to go to the military, and guess what? I flunked the military test. But I said, okay, I'm going to do this. I know I can do this. So I finally got in college. But how many of you know, the longer you live, life is going to happen. I was in college and I got sick and I had a nervous breakdown and I was hospitalized for a whole year. Are you listening to me? And I flunked out of college, but guess what? I didn't give up. I got back in on academic probation. Then in 2009, I became homeless. Then I was innocently shot multiple times and pronounced dead at the hospital. And now, I'm a first generation college graduate student. I have a motivational YouTube channel with almost 700 motivational videos. I get in front of this camera for free every day. Do you realize for the past four and a half years, I have been doing free motivational videos every day, 365 days out of the year, every day for the whole world. There's been people who were suicidal. They watched my videos and they decided not to commit suicide. There were people who had cancer, sicknesses. They were grieving. They wanted to go to college. They were, had marital problems. They watched my videos and they started their businesses. They, their marriages were restored. They lied, their lives changed all from watching my motivational videos. Why? Because I dared. I made a decision to believe in myself. And maybe I'm talking to somebody that has low self-esteem. If you're someone, you have low self-esteem, listen. Hold your head up high and believe in yourself. Principle number one, Steve Martin said, be so good until they can't ignore you. Yes, I know you keep getting rejected. I know they keep telling you no, but you are one yes away from your life changing forever. Listen, I'm going to speak in the NFL. I'm going to speak in the NBA. I'm going to speak in Major League Baseball. I'm going to speak internationally. Why? Because I'm one yes away. You can do it. Principle number two, you can't keep getting rejected for long. You are getting ready to get a yes. Don't you quit. If it's getting harder, that means you're closer. Don't quit. Principle number three, I want you to know that greatness takes time. You cannot cheat greatness. Michael Jordan, he did not cheat greatness. Tom Brady, he did not cheat greatness. LeBron James, Stephen Curry, Kevin Durant, Giannis, CP3, Chris Paul, all the greats, Clay Thompson, Draymond Green, all the greats, they, Kobe Bryant, they did not cheat greatness. Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, Bill Gates, Steve Jobs, Mark Zuckerberg, all the greats, they did not cheat greatness. Greatness takes time. Principle number four, true greatness is a process. So enjoy the process. Enjoy the journey. Because while you're on the road, while you're on the journey of becoming great, this is what I want you to do. While you're going after your dreams, don't just go after your dreams, but while you are going after your dreams, I want you to work on your character. I want you to develop character and integrity. Why? Because your gifts and your talents will get you to the top. But it takes character and integrity to keep you at the top. I've seen so many successful people. They spend their whole lives accomplishing their dreams and then they get to the top but because they lack character and integrity they do they do something bad and they lose it all overnight because they did not have character and integrity so my advice and my wisdom to you 
is why you're going after your dreams, why you're grinding, why you're going beast mode, why you're going lion mode, why you're putting in the blood, why you're putting in the sweat, why you're putting in tears, why you're putting in 120%. I want you to make sure that you develop character and integrity so your character and your integrity will keep you at the top. Principle number five, Wesley Snipes said, don't stop when you are tired. I know it's difficult. I know it's hard. I know you want to give up. But stop when you are done. You can win the Super Bowl. You can win the NBA championship. You can win the World Series. You can write that book. You can become a CNA. You can become a nurse. You can become a doctor, lawyer, movie producer, singer, professional athlete, college athlete. You can get your GED. You can get that doctoral degree, that PhD, that master's. You can write that book. You can sell real estate. You can become an engineer. I don't know what you want to do, but what I am telling you is you can do it. Principle number six, and I'm closing. Someone said that doubt, listen to me very closely, doubt kills more dreams than failure ever will. When you doubt yourself, when you don't believe in yourself, it will kill your dreams. Principle number seven, and I'm closing. You need to know that you can do it. I believe in you. You are special. You are beautiful. You are intelligent. You are awesome. You are phenomenal. Greatness is in your DNA. If you want to succeed, as bad as you want to live, then you'll be successful. How bad do you want to live? Do you want to succeed as bad as you want to live? Do you want to accomplish your dreams as bad as you want to live? You can do it. I want you to know that. You can do it. Don't you stop until it's done. Don't you stop until you accomplish your dreams. This is your time. This is your season. This is your moment.